How you doing? This is uh, Jazz Talk and Mr. Brett. So this is a continuation of uh, uh, episode number 38. And we got cut off, but um, I want to talk about what the Afrocentric guy had said. Um, I mean, the guy who, who basically was getting on Afrocentrics. And basically what I was saying is that I sort of see it for myself. I have nothing against Afrocentrics, but I don't like the radical ones. The ones who, 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 who actually generalize and actually still steal other people's culture to claim that it, uh, our, it's our, it was our culture. I think that's very wrong, all right? First of all, the Omex, there was, mes- there was people who was indigenous, all right? That's in Mexico. They was never black. And when I heard things, and, and then when I saw things like the China, black Chinese, that's when I, I, really, I, start, I started getting, like, I started really analyzing and be like, wait a second here now. You, you're saying that, we, that black people was Chinese first? I know that that Chinese people has has descended from Black Africans. Yeah, we know that. But Black people, I don't, and I know that some Black people was in China, but built the whole civilization. Black people built the civilization in China before what the, the regular Chinese people did. I don't believe that. And so that's why that's why I played that those videos because a lot of you Afrocentrics, not some, not all, but some of you Afrocentrics be be claiming everything but but where our ancestors really came from. I don't get it. How you claim in Egypt when well, you know darn well Egypt with the ISIS did not come from Egypt? All right? I don't care if there was black people over there. I believe that it was a mixed a mixed society. I believe that. Because the way it's located, it's located between um uh, like right across the river from Greece, Greek, Greece, and further south in the Horn of Africa from from which used to be Nubia, which is which the name term Nubian came from. So I believe that the now as far as the ethnic um, Egyptians, that's that's debatable. You know what I mean? Some people think they wasn't black at all, but I definitely know as far as the, the whole nation, I believe that it was a mix of everybody. You know, white, black, everybody, like the way the United States is now. Um, but we wasn't part of that. Our ancestors were not a part of that. All right, our ancestors were not pharaohs. Our ancestors were not kings and queens from 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 Egypt. And it wasn't Nubians either, our ancestors. And when I see that black people in America only claim Egypt and claim Nubia and claim, and claim Zulu from South Africa, it, it, to me it, offend, it offends me. Because I know darn well when the slave ships came over here, they did, not, they did not come straight from Egypt. And then you claim other things like, like being Afro-Asiatic and all the other stuff like that. We wasn't Afro-Asiatics either, man. You know? We ain't come from Jerusalem either, all right? That's the point I'm trying to say. We claim everything, but the our ancestry where our ancestry really rely. And you know what our ancestry really rely at? Really lies at? It lies in between Central and West Africa. And I hardly hear any Afrocentrics, any Afrocentrics, uh, um, take pride in West Africa because you did. You will sit back and, and say, I'm an Ashanti, or I'm a Mali, or I'm an Igbo, or I'm a Yobra, or I am an Akon. I don't see none of y'all saying that. I don't see none of y'all even, even showing that it was kings and queens in the Ashanti um, um, kingdom. I don't see it. Because that's where all the slaves usually came from. All the African people that, was, that got got transported over here to America as slaves, that's where they mostly came from. They mostly came from those empires and those those nations and, and those tribes. But for some reason, I don't see y'all claiming that at all. Instead, y'all see y'all claiming parts of Africa that, we didn't, that our ancestors didn't, didn't do anything or didn't have nothing to do with. And seeing y'all claim other parts of the world that, that black people had nothing to do with. Old Mexicans was black? Just because you see heads that with people with big lips on, on, on sculptures? I mean, come on, man. Come on. So, by, but what you're saying right there is that the only people that got big lips are, are people that's of, ne- of Negroid. And that's not, that's not the case. All right? That's not the case. You just can't automatically assume because you see some uh, a sculpture with people with big lips. That means it was black. Don't, that, that's very stupid, very ignorant. Okay? Our ancestry lies in West Africa. I have no problem with Afrocentrics, you know, um, taking pride in Africa, period, or Africa. But the, let's be, keep, keep, it, keep it real. 
Don't claim parts of Africa that we we have that ancestors have nothing to do with, and don't take credit for other societies because you think those people were dark or those people had big lips. Come on, man. It's silly. All right, it's silly, and that's why I played it. You know, I don't agree with everything he said. I don't, you know, as far as like his tone of voice, but the fact is, is that. He was right on the money because the fact is, I see that with my own eyes. I hear that with my eyes. I I, I saw China, black Chinese. Are you what? Come on, yo. And the only people that's claiming this stuff is people is black is, is Afrocentric, who are black Americans. That's the thing that that's that's why we get laughed at, because we but black Americans are the Afrocentric who or who could be claiming this stuff. It's not black people in Africa claiming. Uh, parts of Africa that, that that they have nothing to do with. It's black people in America doing that. I mean, that's how that's how that's how bad we've been as a group, as a people in in America has been had been uh, destroyed as far as mentally because we started to try to take on anything that we think is black instead of just analyzing and reading and learning the truth. Because we've been so so down drated and so oppressed that we were trying to find anything that, 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 that will lift our spirits up, including stealing other people's cultures and claiming that it's ours. And it's sad. All right? It's already been proven that most black people in America, I'm talking about most black people, but black people that, and the Caribbeans too in the Caribbean, that it's already been proven that most of our ancestors came from West Africa. So stop the nonsense with all this Afrocentric. I was a was was a black Chinese, or I was a, 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 a Israelite, or I was a, I, I was a, a, our ancestor was a was a, was a, was a, 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 a pharaoh from Egypt, or our ancestors was was was, was, was uh, from from Mexico. You know, as the Omex, we gotta stop all that nonsense, man. You know, start start going by what our ancestors really was from. And there's nothing wrong with saying that my ancestors was probably a Ashanti. Or my ancestors probably was a was a Mali. Or my ancestors probably was an Akon. Or and my ancestors probably was a Yobra or a, a Mende. Or like this guy said in, in the video, or a, a Yobra. Or Ebo. There's nothing wrong with saying that. There's nothing wrong with saying with, with, with saying that these were probably what we was. How ancestors was. You know? Because it's already been proven also that the majority of the people that, that was that that became over here on boats was mostly from Nigeria and Ghana. It already been, that's been proven too. And, and and it makes sense. Because when you look at the word Nigeria, it's spelled N I G A R. No, no. I'm wrong. N I G E R. A, Nigeria. Now, if you take away the A at the end and put another R after the first R, what that says? It's called nigger, right? So, come on. And that part, and, and I'm not saying that's a, that's that's a, that, that that's the right term for us. I'm just saying that it makes it makes it to me. Come on. And then you got another um, part of, uh, of, of, of in that part of West Africa, Central Africa, where it's, a, it's actually a country called nigger. Without the without the two G's. All right. So we already know that it was West Africa where our ancestors came from, and that part of Africa anyway was called, was one time called Negro Land by the by the Dawn Romans, and I'm not saying that that was right either because we wasn't no damn Negroes. You know what I'm saying over there I, we was Malis and Ashantis. All right. And Benin, because it was a Benin Empire too. That's what that's what I, we was at first, our ancestors anyway. But it makes sense, and instead of y'all claiming any part of West Africa, y'all claim parts of Africa that we had nothing to do with, making make us look like a laughing stock of, of the damn world. Come on, man, you ain't fooling nobody. You ain't fooling no white people. You ain't fooling no black with no no other groups of people when they when they look at us. They you're not fooling them. They know where our ancestors came from. And instead of you being proud of the answers where uh, the, the parts of the, where our answers came from, you claim everything but 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 that part. 
What you got to say about this, Ants Hawkins? Us black Americans are lost. Not all of us, but uh, some of us are lost. You twisting up history to have some kind of um, I don't know, like it's kind of uh, like like you're ashamed of 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 where you, where you where your ancestors really came from. That's what it is. You need to wake up, do your research, and just enjoy life. Be proud of where you came from. And that's about it. Exactly. See, that's what it seemed to me. It seemed like you're ashamed of West Africa. Because, the, 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 because you know why? Because you, you see that American media has showed nothing but West Africa being nothing but huts and shit. So you're like, oh, now we couldn't come for those people because those people are living in huts, which is bullshit because both, you know, right now, Nigeria is, is, is one of the richest countries in Africa right now, by the way, which most of our ancestors mostly came from. You know? But nobody, but the media won't tell you. American media won't show you. Won't someone tell you that? Because they told you that, then they 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 they'd be afraid that you, as a black American, who might want to go and invest in, and even move to Nigeria, where your ancestors came from. So they'll never tell you that. All right. Now I know you're some of you gonna be saying, but what are you talking about moving to Africa? You say you wasn't African American. No, because we ain't African. We are, we are American. But if we move to Africa, we'll become an African citizen of any of those countries where our ancestors was from. And, and by the way, I will be going to Africa in about three months. And I will be having a lot of footage and a lot of people and a lot of other people that's living here uh, doubting where I'm going. They're like, oh, why are you going out there for? You know, it's dangerous. I said, yo, once you walk out your door, it's dangerous. Like, like, what are you talking about? See, when you say the word Africa, it's like a negative term, which is, you know, do you agree, Mr. Brett? Well, of course, of course. Of course, that's, that's the case. And that's what people think that when I say I'm not African, I'm not African-American, they think that I think of the negative term. No, it's because the fact is, is I don't have no sisters over there. But at the same time, I'm not stupid and think that Africa is some dangerous place. All right? And that's what you got the American media tells you all the time. <clears throat> they tell you that, Africa is a dangerous place that there's nothing over there. Nobody do anything over there. Okay? And the only part in Africa that's, that's really good is Egypt. That's what, that's what they tell you all the time in, in America. That's why you got Afrocentrists claiming so, uh, Egypt. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> there ain't nothing dangerous about Africa. You know? So don't get it twisted when I say, because I don't say, because I say I'm not African American, that I'm ashamed of Africa. No. Because the fact is, I'm an American citizen paying American taxes. And that's why. But I'm not stupid to think that I'm going to go forth with this bullshit that the media try to portray black people in, America, in Africa as being savages. I'm not that dumb. All right? But I see some black people in America that, that's that, that dumb. That dumb. Who have to believe that black people in Africa are, are savages. You think that black people in Africa don't think that black Americans are savages? Because they think the same way about us. Why? Because the media. The media, the media does that. Okay? But I'm not trying to go far the subject. I'm just saying that that black Americans need to know their true identity when it comes to Africa. Stop this bullshit. That's why I would like to turn African American in the first place because of that reason. Because I know that all our answers do not come from all over Africa. All right? If anything, I will, I will advise black Americans to call themselves West African American or by any tribe that's over there. Mali American or, or Ashanti American. That makes more of a sense. Or Igbo, that makes more sense to me than a whole continent. That's why you got Afrocentrists claiming parts of Africa that's not even that we had nothing to do with. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, and it's proof right here what I'm, what I'm saying. We got to stop doing that. Start claiming parts of Africa that we actually answers as it came from. All right. Stop, stop thinking that, oh, well, we, we, we lost our identity, that we, we, it's already been proven already. Most, people, most black people in America, they took their tests. They all, they all go back to West Africa. Ancestry. I ain't never seen one go to any Egypt or any horns of Africa. None. Not even South Africa. It mostly was in West Africa. That's crazy. Because why? Because Africa's a continent. A continent, by the way, that was made by 